I guess that they're trying to turn the big Penrith forwards around, but what's not happening? Here's Sattler! Sattler with a big run for Penrith! Brad Drew wants a quick play of the ball. They're lined up on the right. Gower is there. And then for John Cross. Gower again. Tries to shrug away the tacklers. So leadership becomes vital now. Can't replace Steve Carver that he. Oh, it's a try for Penrith. They will look at this one. No, they're not going to. Perrigan's given it picked up the crumbs. Well done, Ryan Girdler. Yeah, the kicking game for Parramatta is trying to force Penrith at the other end to turn the big forwards around, but the men bringing it back for the Panthers mean that they're getting the football back in good field position. And Five metres out from the line, having taken the quick tap penalty. It is Andrew Ryan who'll play the ball inside the 20 metre line. Play back to Stuart Kelly. Kelly sauntering across the ground. Now he's through a gap. Kelly's in. Kelly's over. That's a try. Try for Stuart Kelly. With only three minutes left in the first half. Oh, yeah, my word, they needed this. They've hardly been down in this 20 metre zone. Probably only half a dozen times they've been here, half a dozen tackles. And Stuart Kelly. Drifted across the field, the ball with both hands in front of his body, he filled them all, and when he saw the gap, he exploded through it. Great stuff by Stuart Kelly. Now, that was very tough. Continuing his role of versatility with Parramatta. Ian Hindmarsh will play it now. Had a chance in the first half for a try as Marsh puts a kick in, gets a regather. To do it in the latter stage of the first half, and he's opened the second half with all guns blazing. Dimmick now with a kick, and up they go for the bat down. They got a chance here, they're gonna make it. They're in. Moody is over. Moody scores. That is a fabulous try. Took play the ball, and then Jim Dimmick looks to see where the best choice is. It's the kick out wide. Moody deliberately knocks the football back. Nathan Hindmarsh picks it up, shows great strength to get a pass away to Jason Moody. The perfect start for the second half. Yeah, was it was a 30 metre line as he plays it back for Kelly. Kelly really busy tonight, turning it back in for Wagon. Wagon comes down the short side to the 20 metre line. Clint Chavosky coming up from full back to acting half and then it's gone on for Dimmick and Dimmick props and jinx and goes out for Moran and then they put the ball on the chest and away goes, is it Hindmarsh? Yeah, it's Ian Hindmarsh, Ray. It is Ian Hindmarsh, Peter, and I tell you what, I would only just uttered the words, what a good game he's having. His brother gets all the publicity because he deserves it, but the kid has had a big game tonight. Yeah, good work here from Dennis Moran as well, and Jim Dimmick as they go to the far side. As we freeze play there, this is the man who's in trouble. We've got a Parramatta defender a, attacker coming straight. We've got someone coming around the back. As play continues, he can't handle all of them, and it's Ian Hindmarsh. Beautiful right footstep to beat Jorgensen. Yeah, he may have not got many raps compared to his brother of late, but he's playing just as well. Dennis Moran is having an outstanding game tonight as well. He's been Mr. Fix-It for this team tonight. He's filled in at dummy half. Hooker, 5'8", halfback, sometimes out in the centres, out wide. That's a beautiful ball. He stood up his opposing player well, created the gap by holding up the pass. And, and it is with Jason Moody. No shortage of wingers in the Parramatta Club. It seems to be only just yesterday we were reading how good young Eric Groth Jr. was going to be. And now the... Here's a try coming up, I feel. The race is on, and then they go. He's got it. He's got it. Dennis Moran, but they're going to go. They're going to go to the video. He's very confident, little Moran. Yeah, he's celebrating Dennis Moran. And as Paul points. And there is no doubt that it's his hand that gets to it for the downward pressure. And I fancy that I've seen probably less contact with the football and they've been given the green light there's a very good reason to think that he's going to get this one well there's no doubt it's down with pressure whereas in the first half with the hindmarsh he actually pushed the ball forward that'll be a try and a fitting reward for him dennis moran he's had a really good 
Good match tonight. John Gosher will make his decision now. And John Gosher says that it's green for go. It is a try for the Eels and they are celebrating. The blue and gold flag. They will play the Broncos at Stadium Australia next Sunday afternoon. You'll see that telecast on the Wide World of Sports at 4 o'clock. They're a happy bunch. One of uh, the great sights in rugby league when they come in their masses. Win, lose or draw, they've always had a healthy crowd follow them. The Eels, they're known as the Blue and Gold Army. And they've won here against their next door neighbour, the young brother, Penrith, 28 to 10 tonight.